Hello and welcome to Jacinto 7 software training. In this session, you will learn how to create ADAS applications using the processor HDK Automotive for Jacinto 7. Specifically, we will take a use case of Surround View Park Assist as a case study. In this session, you will learn how to map a hardware block diagram to Jacinto 7 SOC. Next, you will learn how software is architected to implement such a use case. Finally, you will learn how to build and run the representative Surround View Park Assist demos on TIEVM using the processor HDK Automotive. Do note that Surround View Park Assist is just one example of the many ADAS applications that can be implemented on Jacinto 7 devices. My name is Kedar and I am the software architect of Processor HDK. Let us first see how a camera based Surround View Park Assist system looks like from a hardware block diagram point of view. On the input side, we take an example of four cameras placed on four sides of a car. The cameras typically capture data in raw bare format and stream this via FP Relink serializer like UB953 to a central ECU. UB960 on the central ECU does the deserialization and converts to CSI2 stream which is fed to the Jacinto 7 SOC. On the output side, we can have multiple displays connected to the Jacinto 7 which can be used to visualize the surround view output on a display device. Additionally, Ethernet UART could be used for streaming in additional sensor or object data input like data from LiDAR, radar and ultrasonic sensors. Additional devices connected to the Jacinto 7 include LPDDR4 RAM for runtime data and code storage, eMMC for file system and other non-volatile data storage, PMIC for power. In a typical system, one also has a safety MCU for communication with rest of the car network via CAN or Ethernet. In case of Jacinto 7, this safety MCU is integrated within the Jacinto 7 itself. OSPI is typically used as the boot media for the integrated safety MCU. With the hardware block diagram defined, let us now see how the surround view park assist application is realized using Jacinto 7 CPUs and hardware accelerators. As shown earlier, Camera data is input to Jacinto 7 via UB960 deserializer CCSI2 port. This data is captured within the Jacinto 7 SoC by the CSI2 RX hardware block. The data is then fed to ISP or image signal processor which converts the data from raw bare format to YUV format. The ISP output is then fed to GPU for surround view visualization and display. The ISP data is also optionally compressed and stored or streamed to a non-volatile memory like eMMC. This forms the visualization pipeline. In parallel, the ISP data is also sent for analytics for Park Assist. First, we do some pre-processing using VPAC and DMPAC hardware engines. Here the data is downscaled using hardware scaler from VPAC. The fisheye lens distorted data is then corrected using the lens distortion correction hardware from VPAC. Next the data is fed to dense optical flow engine in DMPAC. Dense optical flow engine gives pixel level motion information which is used by analytics algorithms like depth using structure for motion and motion segmentation. This pre-processed data is then fed to C7X MMA and C66 for CNN processing and computer vision algorithms. The output after these algorithms is typically object 
and semantic information like location of pedestrians, vehicles, lanes, traffic signs and depth map. This is also referred to as the environmental model. This object information is then fed to fusion path planning and control algorithms running on ARM A72 and ARM R5F. These algorithms navigate and park the car autonomously in the parking lot by fusing the environmental information generated by camera, lidar, ultrasonic and radar sensors. As we can see in this data flow, Jacinto 7 can be used for doing the complete surround view park assist applications from doing the surround view visualization, camera perception as well as navigation and control. The high megapixel input data can be processed efficiently by various hardware accelerator blocks without needing a lot of CPU load. The high megapixel CNN processing also allows software to discern minute details like lane marking, objects, curbs when driving and parking the car autonomously. Let us now see how the data flow maps to the various software components from the HDK. The Jacinto 7 SoC consists of various heterogeneous CPUs. Each CPU is targeted for the specific optimized function. Software on different CPUs collaborate to realize the intended use case or application. The SoC starts execution with the bootloader on MCU R5F, booting the different CPUs on the SoC. We have TIRTOS or SysBIOS running on ARM R5F, C66 and C7X DSPs. Note that each CPU runs a unique instance of the TIRTOS. A72 runs Linux OS or a third-party OS like QNX. MCU R5 also runs the AutoSAR OS and AutoSAR software stack. Interprocessor communication or IPC running on each CPU is used to sync and exchange messages among all the CPUs. MCU 21R5F is dedicated to control the various hardware accelerators of VPAC, DMPAC, camera capture, display, video encode and video decode. C7X MMA runs the TI deep learning library for CNN based algorithms while C66 runs the vision library for traditional computer vision algorithms. On the Linux side, we run graphics via OpenGL and storage and networking drivers are also controlled from the Linux. MCU 20R5F is used for running the Ethernet switch firmware, whereas MCU 10R5F is used for running the AutoSAR stack and MCU 3R5s are free for customer use. OpenVX is used as the middleware to export hardware accelerator and deep learning functions from R5 and DSPs to A72. OpenVX allows to construct a data flow graph of hardware and software blocks spanning across the SoC using a simple and unified API from A72. This allows you to focus on the end application on A72 rather than low-level hardware details of R5 and DSP. Finally, you would customize and add your own software and algorithms on the various CPUs with the final integrated surround view and park assist application residing on A72. Now, let us see how to run some demos from the HDK which have such a hardware and software data flow. To begin, open the Atos SDK user guide homepage and go to the getting started page. On this page, click on the ARAS Vision DL Vision Apps link to open the Vision Apps user guide. Vision Apps contains the source code and information about the surround view and, and analytics for Park Assist demos. Navigate to the application demos, surround view, 
3D Surround View application page. This page has information about the Surround View demo, including a brief description of the demo, data flow, and performance information. It also has steps on how to run the demo. Similarly, navigate to application demos, DL or deep learning demos, auto valet parking application 2 page. This page has information about the analytics for parking demo. I would also encourage you to see other demo pages in the Vision Apps user guide. There are multiple demos from simple CNN demos to simple camera to display loopback demos. Learning about these demos should help you get started on your application development. Shown here is the data flow of surround view as it is implemented in the HDK demo. This can be found on the demo page shown earlier as well. Similarly, here is the data flow of the auto valet parking as it is implemented in the HDK demo. Your final application could look different, but broadly the high level design and software architecture would be similar to the HDK demos. You can run these demos on the EVM by following one of the two methods. In the first option, you can flash pre-built demo binaries and Linux file system to a SD card. See the running out of box demos page on the Atos SDK user guide homepage. In the second option, you can build the demos from source and then create a fresh set of binaries to flash a SD card. See the Vision Apps user guide for build and running the demos from source. To run the pre-built binaries, a separate pre-built tar file needs to be downloaded from the SDK download page. After downloading the pre-built tar file, follow the steps mentioned on this page to create and run the demos on TIEVM. To build and run from source, go to the Vision Apps user guide and from here go to build and run page. Follow the steps mentioned on this page to build and run the demos on TIEVM. Finally, let me show you where to find the source code for these demos within the SDK. Inside Atos SDK, go to Vision Apps folder. You will find the Surround View application as shown here and Auto Valley Parking application as shown here. I also encourage you to look at the simpler CNN and camera applications to understand how to build larger applications from smaller building blocks. Thank you for listening to this session. In this session, you learned how to map a sample ADAS application to Jacinto 7 SOC. You learned how to construct a data flow for this application using various hardware blocks in the SOC. We designed a software architecture to implement this data flow and finally you also learned where to find the building blocks for such applications within the SDK. If you have need for more information, I encourage you to refer to the Atos and Linux SDK user guide included within the SDK itself and also on ti.com. If you need more assistance, feel free to post a query on Processors E2E. Thank you.